once you've taken a picture of your work, you need to upload it to your Google Drive. So if you go into the gallery function, down the button, you'll see a share option. Press this and it will give you the choice of what you can do with your picture. And you want to choose the Google Drive option. Then find your account, make sure it's yours, and then press save and it uploads it so you can now share it with the teachers. You've taken a picture of your work, you now need to add it into your lesson. So at the top there it says your work, so you want to press the add button. This is where you can add in your work. So you could be typing it up in Google Docs, you may have made a presentation in Google Slides or done a spreadsheet in Sheets or even done a drawing. But we took a picture and uploaded it to our Google Drive, so we're going to go to Google Drive. This lists all the work that we've actually already saved and done. It'll have our pictures, it'll have our docs, it'll have everything. Now, because I took the picture recently, it should be one of the first fold files there to come up. Oh, look, so we've got lots of pictures there. Oh, my goodness, they're the two that I want. So Mr. Conley's top tips on how to load it up and a picture about pressing the Add or Create button. So I click on both of those. It tells me I've selected two and I press Insert and it adds both the files into my work. The blue line stopped going, it's now ready to be turned in. So I can go to the bottom and press the turn in button. It then just checks, I'm happy with sending those two bits working, I'm gonna press turn in. And that now sends it in to the teachers looking at your lesson. I've got an option underneath of doing a private comment, so it might have been in the lesson it said, write down your most exciting bit of vocabulary or the best sentence. You could type it in there just as well. You could let the teacher know something you found really easy or something you've had about tricky that you may want to do a bit more on. So it's a good way of having a private conversation with the teacher. And that's all you need to do to turn in your work. If you're unhappy with it and you want to do a bit more later, you can press the unsubmit, which takes it back from the teacher. Then you can add and change things before you resubmit it, just as we've done now. Hopefully you won't need that because you worked hard each time. Well, I hope this helps in learning how to turn work in. And hopefully we'll see some more work from you soon. Goodbye.